So if you think NASCAR or WWE are out of place with the sports series, it won't after this. Today I'm tackling these two boxes sitting on top of my gaming shelf. Cabela's The Hunt and Pro Bass's The Strike. Now while I carefully take these down, play the clip. Previously on Oh Look. Ah, what a great console. I loved growing up with the Wii. It was such a fun gimmicky console and a bunch of dumb stupid accessories that I loved so much. And when I was at a Walmart and saw these two boxes featuring Switch games with stupid dumb accessories, I knew I wanted them. I think I'll try Cabela's first. Cabela's The Hunt. First thing we do here is select a character that looks similar to you because you don't really get to customize them. Which kind of makes sense, the game is primarily in first person. Now let's talk about the accessory. The Switch Rifle, the successor to the Wii Zapper. This thing comes in two pieces. I'd show you, but after the initial assembly, I got scared trying to separate them because it feels like they're about to break. You put the left joy-con up front and the right one back here where the ZR button won't be positioned where the gun trigger is. A cool thing about the Switch Rifle is they can also fold in half. The purpose here is to help separate the two sides, but in the hands of actual consumers... <laughs> Now when playing with the Switch Ruffle, you use the left stick to move around, the right stick to aim, and you move your gun for precision. Similar to how Breath of the Wild works when using the bow and arrow, and if that sounds like a compliment, it's not. If I'm playing this game Good with job, this thing, man. I want to be over the top. Instead, we got a game that actually feels pretty slow. Now talking about the actual game, oh god this game looks so bad. Look at this grass, it's constantly moving to face you. I mean, I've always been one to argue that visuals aren't important. As long as the gameplay is fun, we're okay. But the gameplay is so boring, you just gotta walk around the woods. It's pretty quiet, got some nice forest ambient going on here, but you walk around until you find tracks, head in the direction until you find more tracks or the animal itself, shoot it, watch it get Thanos snapped out of existence, and then do it again. There's also this ATV you can ride to get around faster, but dear god almighty controlling this is harder than trying to tie your shoes with corn. It's a simple task, but it's being made unnecessarily difficult. This is actually pretty f***ing boring. When I was on a hunt and got penalized for shooting a certain animal, I was flustered. The game barely has any wildlife roaming around, and I got yelled at for shooting the first thing I see in minutes? I saw that there were bear tracks. Oh hell yeah, maybe we can finally get some action fighting a bear. When I actually found the bear, it got startled and started running away. What? No, why aren't you trying to kill me? Come back! This game is really disappointing, but the question can be asked, what was I expecting? Well, let's go back to Cabela's Dangerous Hunts 2011. That game was fun, filled with fun action and a solid story mode that featured boss battles. See, this is a game I would have loved to play with the Switch Rifle. And you know what? With enough creativity, I can! But Cabela's The Hunt? Yeah, this is pretty bad. I learned that this is actually a port of a Wii game, which makes me a bit more annoyed. Like they could have ported any other games to sell this accessory with and went with the worst one. Well, that was pretty lame and a bit disappointing, really. Which also kind of makes me worried that if hunting was this bad, how's fishing gonna go? This game already had some pretty bad omens surrounding it. See, I ordered both these boxes off of Amazon, and when the hunt arrived, it came with care and a nice box to prevent damage. The strike was kind of just... Plus, it came with these stickers that I had to peel off, and it was a miserable trying not to leave behind any gross residue or ruin the artwork. Oh god. Oh, oh, please! <laughs> Now when starting up the strike, which is also a port, we actually got to customize a character. Okay, that's some good stuff so far. Let's talk about the accessory, the Switch Rod, the sequel to Chlamydia. It's much smaller than the rifle, so there was no assembly required. The left Joy-Con goes on the base of the rod, while the right one just goes on the handle and spins. We start out driving on our bow, which controls much easier than the ATV, but the visuals don't look too bad. Maybe you might actually be okay. We start out a body of water and cast our line by flinging the rod forward, and then we gotta wait for a fish to snag our bait, but when that happens we gotta flick the rod to set the hook, and then start reeling. See here I'll say that the strike utilizes the motion controls really well, but unfortunately the rest of the game is the problem. See I complained about the wildlife in the hunt, and it goes double for the strike. Sometimes I cast lore and there's just no fish nearby, so now I gotta reel it back in, meaning there's a lot of useless motion being utilized. And after doing this 4 times straight, I said screw we fed, this game is giving me enough of a workout. But even if you do manage to snag a fish, the camera just becomes so jerky that I can't even tell how my line is doing and it'll just snap on me. So you know what, the game actually made catching a fish an accomplishment. But similar to Cabela, I've played much better fishing games that the rod could have been more fun to use on. So I guess the theme of the video is good accessory, bad game. As long as there are first person shooter Switch games out there, there is still a lot of potential out of this thing. Now unfortunately the Switch Rod is very limited as it could only be really used for fishing games. But regardless, I do still have to discard this thing. One time I was playing the strike and then legendary fishing came into the room and I had to explain myself. I swear, it's not what it looks like. Uh -huh. 